And I'm going to um, I'm going to be the commentator here. I'm, first, I'm going to recognize uh, uh, Dave Daniel and Jim. If you, if you both want to come up and just say something about this process and how it worked and where we think we are, just to get the show rolling. Thank you, Governor. And uh, I. You've taken the opportunity to thank many people here today, but I want to thank you for your leadership. This was a very difficult process uh, as we've worked through what is now regulating a, a brand new set of law on the high, and you and your staff have done a wonderful job. And to the General Assembly as well, Representative Balderson, Representative Hill have both done an excellent job in working through this, as well as the committee chairman, and they have uh, certainly worked well with my staff as we move forward with this. Lions and tigers and venomous snakes um, and other dangerous wild animals are not domesticated pets and for far too long in Ohio, we have treated them as such. Prior to this legislation for the first time, there were absolutely no rules or regulations about caging standards or about public safety um, and how to protect the public from these large animals and large carnivores. And finally, with the uh, leadership of Governor Kasich and the members of the General Assembly, we now have common sense standards and rules that we're going to put in place to make sure that, first of all, that the animals are well taken care of, that the public is safe from these, and the incident that happened in Zanesville hopefully will not happen again. Our, our veterinary staff at the Ohio Department of Agriculture understand the facilities that are required to house these animals and that they are not um, household pets, that they are large carnivores, they are large predators. They do pose a significant uh, safety hazard to the public if not taken care of and not well maintained. So um, our responsibility through this process is going to be to make sure that as people register these animals that are out there that we will go and make sure that they are caged in proper facilities not only to protect the public but for the animal health and the animal safety as well. Uh, our veterinarians understand the needs and care that these animals need to make them healthy as well and make sure that they're leading uh, good uh, lives in, in the, in the uh, conditions that they're in. Now we've got the tools that are necessary. We look forward to moving forward. I look forward to working with uh, Dr. Forshee in our shop, the state veterinarian who is going to be heading this program up for us. Uh, but Governor, if you would allow me to, I'd also like to thank some of the people on my staff that have worked very hard with this. Uh, George McNabb, uh, Aaron Honnold from our legislative team, Janelle you know Mee, has worked very well on moving this legislation forward, working with all the interested parties. Um, and I appreciate the opportunity to be here, Howard Wise, my assistant director, was doing an awful lot of work out there while I was down working with you on the legislature on this. So, um, and also, I wouldn't uh, be remiss not to thank my predecessor who um, started this process out and left a very good. Uh, uh, yeah. Jeremy left it in your lap. I, I, <laughs> you know, you get everybody thinking, everybody, you're like, what the heck is going on here? I'm telling you, you wouldn't believe how complicated this thing was. This was not some simple little deal, and everybody had to, had to be involved in it. And I mean, there were a lot of arguments and yelling and screaming, and it was, Jim, how about a word here for the fact that you, <laughs> that you don't yell and scream, but you left all this to Dave Daniels and walk away. <laughs> By the DNR, we are very happy that this is that Department of Agriculture. <laughs> uh, but we're looking forward to working with the Department of Agriculture, our law enforcement officers, our wildlife officers, our game wardens, all these folks that are going to be able to assist the Department of Agriculture if there are any issues. And what a place for it to be. They understand animals, like Director Daniel said. They know about animal husbandry. They know about veterinarian, how to handle these big animals and livestock. So. Uh, we're looking forward to working with him, and this is a great bill. Thank you. Okay, so uh, Troy Balderson, the guy that uh, really took a lot of heat on this thing, but did a great job. And uh, Troy? Thank you, Governor. Those are very kind words from the House Governor. Uh, that's very nice. And the Governor has been uh, very kind to me throughout the years, even before I was in office, uh, running to get in office. And I will say that I've got the honor and privilege of riding around with him for seven hours uh, in the vehicle, me and Wick and uh, Rob, and it was quite an experience. Yeah. And he talked about leadership and some of the things that I needed to do, and, and this was the moment. But um, I wanted the province to go up, but we would have dumped them after about three and a half hours. So. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to say a few words of thanks to people, too. Um, in the room with us today, we invited up is, is Sheriff Matt Lutz. And uh, Matt's in back back there, and I can't thank Matt enough for what he did for Muskingum County, but also how he represented us. I mean, the pressure that he was under, 
during that circumstances and the decision that he had to make. Uh, he and I were in contact that evening, and it, it was unbelievable. And to actually, for me to hear him and talk to him on the telephone and to have his demeanor, um, it, it's a it's a privilege for me to, to learn from that experience that Matt did and, and how I can handle those things also. But here we are, 16 drafts later uh, from the original bill. This was a ton of words the governor said, and all of the governor's staff, Jimmy Shepard, Craig Butler, Jay, Matt, Ben, I mean, it was a good process and a, and a privilege to do it. Uh, I also, you know, we're going to protect our citizens. That was the number one thing with this bill is to protect the Ohioans in the state of Ohio. We've done that. But we've also protected the personal property rights of people. People are going to be able to keep their animals that they have. They're just going to follow some rules like everybody else does. In the wildlife, the, the animals themselves. We're going to protect the animals. So uh, I think that bill has that balance. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, some of my staff, Josh Eck, Bryson Gillard, Alex Lapso, Andy Busateri from the Senate staff, who was awesome to have Liz Conley. So, Thank you all very much, and uh, Governor, thank you very much. Brian, this was a Brian, relatively new member of the legislature. Uh, I'm sure you're thrilled you were here for this. So, uh, sure, I come on July 28th, and just glad to just be one of the first bills I got to work on. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, first off, I want to thank my family here with me today, my wife and three children, for coming up for this uh, special event today. And as we, we talked and, and thought a lot about public safety, uh, as I visited some of these. Uh, operations and, and talk to all the uh, exotic animal owners. Uh, at the end of the day, and the governor's right, I did struggle with some of this bill and in, in, in respect to the private ownership rights of, of individuals in the state of Ohio. I had to look at my three children and my wife, which we lived two or three miles from where this incident happened in Zanesville, and said, you know, this, this makes good sense. This is a good bill. At the end of the day, uh, this is what we need to do. Uh, likewise, I want to thank Sheriff Matt Woods, who was, uh, he and his staff, not just Matt, but his staff, and and all the cooperation locally there to take care of the incident in Zanesville was unbelievable and, and uh, quite heroic in that nature. Um, I want to thank, too, uh, Chairman Dave Paul and, and, and not just having a knee-jerk reaction to this incident, but allow us to have many nights of long testimony way in the morning. Thank you, Chairman, for that. Uh, but, but it did allow everyone to have their voice heard. Uh, and again, my staff, Abe Jacobs, former aide Lisa Griffin, thank you for your support. Uh, and especially here today, I want to make sure we should, uh, should express our gratitude to Jack Hanna for his support that he showed to the Skinner County Sheriff and the residents and people of that area for stepping up that evening and the next day and throughout this process. Uh, thank you, Jack, for that. Um, couldn't have done that without you, I'm sure, so we appreciate that. Again, it's a good bill, provides public safety, number one, uh, while respecting private uh, property rights of individuals, and I uh, feel good about the bill. Thank you. Thank you. David, Chairman Hall, come on. Again, uh, I'm Chairman of the Ag and Natural Resources Committee in the House, and I'd just like to say uh, the process of working, I want to thank uh, Chairman Ike for uh, bringing the bill and, and uh, Troy Balderson from the Senate. It was a working relationship. We just weren't going to get this thing done without Troy, bringing Troy involved and having him involved in the process. Uh, uh, working with the House. I mean, usually you don't see that. Uh, I brought Troy in in the committee process of let's, let's hold the stakeholders meeting and bringing everyone together. And I, I want to thank the, uh, uh, the ranking member better uh, and the working relationship we had in the committee process and the educational process. This was a bipartisan approach, and, and I just want to give that shout out to uh, that working relationship. But, I just want to thank the governor for his leadership and uh, the patience and allowing us to uh, go through the process and the educational process of committee work. Uh, we did go way, way late past midnight many nights, but uh, we wanted to make sure that everyone was heard. So I just want to thank everyone for it. It, it, was, a, it was all hands on deck. It wasn't just an individual. It wasn't just a group. It was everyone in this process. So thank you, Governor, for your leadership. Great. Thank you. Do I have to let you speak? <laughs> Come on and say a word. He's my man. All right. well, thank you, Governor. Uh, we had our meetings in the morning, so we didn't have to be here all night. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I do want to thank the Governor. Uh, I used to have a saying on my wall in my classroom when I taught, sometimes our greatest opportunities come from our most difficult problems. We had the most difficult problem. We turned this into something I think we could be proud of in the state of Ohio. 
And I think one of the greatest opportunities we have is this man back here. To have the face of Jack Hanna involved with this bill is phenomenal. We're very unbelievably lucky to have him in Ohio. And I think he is the face of this bill as much as anybody, including Troy. And I just think our hats are off to him. He doesn't take his hat off, but our hats are off to him. <laughs> and we are indebted to his leadership throughout this process. In fact, to be honest with you, Jack, I don't think we got it done fast enough for you, but we worked like crazy to try. And uh, Senator Bowles, and I'm really impressed. I got to work with three during, I got to work with the three amigos during this. That was good. And Sheriff, uh, is it Lutz? I want to make sure I did lose. See, I knew I was going to mess that up, but I just met him today, and I'm really proud of you too. I mean, you were the first man there, and it was a tough situation. And when Jack Hanna said you did a good job, I know you did a good job. So I'm just grateful to be a part of this. And I also want to thank my ranking member, Lou Gentile. We had a unanimous uh, vote in our committee yeah. and got it out of there the right way. So thank you very much.